हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ रोहित डामरे आई एम फ्रॉम सुंदरबाई मराठी विद्यालय खराड़ी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट टू चैप्टर नंबर वन हेरिडिटी एंड इवोल्यूशन सो इन दिस चैप्टर नंबर वन सब टॉपिक दैट इज इवोल्यूशन सो वट इज इवोल्यूशन इवोल्यूशन इज अ ग्रेजुअल चेंज ऑकरिंग इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओवर अ लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन इवोल्यूशन is a slow going process through which development of organisms is achieved formation of new species due to the changes in specific characters of several generations of living organisms as a response to natural selection is called as evolution what is the theory of evolution according to the theory of evolution the first living material that is protoplasm has been formed in the ocean in due course of time a unicellular organisms was formed now all those changes they were gradual and slow gradually changes occurred in unicellular organisms from which large and more complex organisms were formed duration of all these changes is almost 300 crore years changes and development in the living organisms have been all around and multidimensional and this leads to the evolution of different types of organisms hence this all process is called as an evolution which is organizational progressive development of plants and animals from the ancestors having different structural and functional organization is called evolution so now we are going to study about the evidences of evolution evolution is an everlasting process of changes following are the proofs available in support of following theories mentioned the first evidence that is the morphological evidence various similarities like structure of mouth position of eyes structure of nostrils and ear pinna and thick uh, thickly distributed hair on the bodies are seen in the animals you can see the three animals on the screen which are showing the similarities in their structure of mouth position of eyes structure of nostrils and ear pinnas as well as the thickly distributed hairs similarly you can see the picture of the three different plants which are showing the similar characteristics like leaf shape leaf venation leaf petioles occur in the plant so this indicates that there are some similarities in those groups and hence it proves that their origin must be same and must have common ancestor the second evidence that is anatomical evidence on screen you can see the arm of human being then a cat whale and a bat externally all these are the organs of these organisms they are externally they are very different but if we see in their internal structures the arrangement of their internal structures we can say that all these organisms they are showing the similar characteristic in their anatomy and it will indicate that all these organisms uh, their origin must be the same and they must have common ancestor the third evidence that is vestigial organ what is vestigial organs the organs which are underdeveloped or useless organ these organs they are known as vestigial organs so some examples which we can found body human system that is ear muscle then tailbone then appendix so these are the vestigial organs these organs they are having some functions in the ancient human being but now as there is an evolution so these organs they are the functionless organ these organs they are known as vestigial organ the next evidence that is paleontological evidence so what is paleontology paleontology it is the study of fossils so in this paleontology uh, you you must have seen an image in your textbook in which the structure of ground level and fossils are shown so basically at the base there are invertebrates then above the invertebrates there is a fossils of reptiles amphibia and pisces above them the reptiles are there and at the top the aves or birds or mammals aves that is bird and mammals are there so we can say that the organism there is an evolution in organism from invertebrates to the vertebrate the next is connecting link so connecting links are the organisms which are showing the characteristics of the two different group that those organisms they are known as connecting link for example duck bill platypus as you can see on the screen the image of duck bill platypus so duck bill platypus is a connecting link which shows the similar characteristics between reptiles and mammals like reptiles they lay egg and like mammals they are having a mammary gland so milk secreting gland the next connecting link that is peripatus it is a connecting link between annelidas and arthropoda so like annelidas they are showing segmented body thin cuticle 
and parapodia. While like arthropodas, they are showing the tracheal respiration, open circulatory system, etc. The third connecting link that is lungfish. Lungfish performs respiration with the lung irrespective of being feed. Lungfish is a fish but it shows a type of respiration like human being. And the last one is embryological evidence. So on the screen you can see the different embryos, the stages of the embryos of the different organisms like fish, salamander, tortoise, chicken, pig, cow, rabbit and man. So at the primary stage, the, the embryos of these all these different organisms, they are looking similar. They are very alike, which indicates that these organisms may be different, but the ancestor of the, all these organisms is a same. They may evolve from a same ancestry. So you can see on the screen, embryos of reptile, bird and mammal. These reptiles are different, birds are different, mammals are different after maturity. But but at the earlier stages, the embryos of these reptiles, birds and mammals, they are very similar. So we can say that they are having a same ancestry. That is their origin must be the same or they must have the same ancestors. So this is all about the evolution. Thank you very much.